Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so tonight I put my tree up. I haven't decorated it yet because I want to video a little bits and pieces of me decorating the tree. That way you can see the decorations I used. Um, maybe you'll be inspired by the way I decorate the tree. But um, I saw something like this on Pinterest and I've seen many different ones. I've seen something similar to this at Hobby Lobby. I've seen it in several different places and I decided I wanted to recreate it myself. I've never seen anyone do a tutorial on it, but I thought, hey, how hard could it be? So um, this really, once I got going on it, this took me maybe 20 minutes max probably to get it done. So anyway, as you see, I put Let It Snow on this one. I used a wooden hoop and just some uh, red plaid fabric. I used some uh, like fake little um, pine needles that I, that I got at Hobby Lobby, the ribbon I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, so yeah, pretty much I got everything at Hobby Lobby. I added a little jute hanger on it that way I can hang this on my tree. Now my tree is seven and a half foot, so I'm gonna want big, some big ornaments on my tree. That's why I thought I would do these. So anyway, let me take you along just a little bit of the process on how I made this. So you might be inspired to make some yourself. Okay, so let me get that out of the way. Okay, okay so for this particular one, let me bring it up here, I think that I'm gonna do this, let me go up a little more, this Merry Christmas, y'all. And I thought that that would be super, super cute. So, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna insert it on here. I've already got my Let It Snow over here. I'm not gonna be able to, I'm not gonna need that one again. So I probably could go ahead and just delete it. And for that particular one, I actually made it like four by three. So I'm just gonna kind of enlarge it a little bit. I just think it's kind of appropriate for me being in Texas and everything. Okay, so this is actually like a four by four. And so I'm gonna see how big this actually is because I know it's it's four across, but it's like about three tall. So I'm gonna see if I can kind of shrink it down just a little bit. I don't want um, the height to be as tall. So I think I'm gonna try to see if I can shrink it just a little bit. But I still want it to be the four in width. So I'm gonna have to just kind of direct Kind of stretch it just a little bit. Okay, that pretty that almost put it up to four. So I think that that probably will work out well. So I like it. I'm not going to overthink it. And I'm just going to go over here. Let me see if I can get you out a little bit. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click make it. If you do not have a Cricut, you can also do this like on some like if you have some iron on letters, you can buy them in the craft store. Or if you wanna paint it on, or if you just wanna put a picture of something, you can do that too. Um, but anyway, I kinda of wanted words on mine. Um, so anyway, okay, so here's the mat. This is what it's gonna look like. But because it's an iron on, you wanna make sure that you mirror your image because we want it to flip around. So I'm gonna get my, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my vinyl all ready. And I'm just using this vinyl that I bought tonight at Hobby Lobby. It's an iron-on vinyl. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just cutting myself a piece. And here we go. So I'm gonna get you around here so you can watch um, how I cut this. But let me go to the next screen. I want you to see this first. I'm going to move this one out of the way. And 
Okay, so I've already got mine set on custom on my on my Cricut, and I have it set to everyday iron on. That's the one I'm using. Now, if you do not have your pressure set hard enough, if you have the maker, it probably will work for you. But for mine, I had to go through and I had to change the pressure a little bit. That way it just weeds out really fast. So mine should be ready to go. So I want to use that one. And now my Cricut is flashing and it's ready to roll. Okay, so I'm going to get you over here to the Cricut so you can watch the next steps. Okay, so I have put my piece of vinyl on um, shiny side down on my mat. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to load it into my Cricut. Now that this one's flashing, I'm good to go ahead and just cut my image. And this will take just a second. And once I'm done, I'll take that off and I'll weed it all out and it will be ready to go um, onto my fabric. I'm going to use the same red and black plaid because I'm going with those colors on my tree. So anyway, while I let this finish cutting, I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, cut my piece of fabric. Okay, so while that's cutting, I'm going to go ahead and start preparing my fabric. I've got my um, heat press is sitting right over here amongst the mess on my poor table here. But I'm going to go ahead and start getting it all heated up. And then uh, while it's heating up and it's actually a little bit warm, I'm going to go ahead and kind of flatten out if it will. It will, if it will flatten out for me before it's completely heated. And um, I'm just going to take my hoop and I cut it a little bit. I cut this a little bit larger and all that. So you want to make sure that the fabric's going to fit in your hoop. So this... A ribbon that I purchased tonight, this large one, it actually fit. Um, it fit perfectly for me to use this as a template. And I'm just using my marker. And this actually is, let me make sure my light's over here, y'all. This actually is um, like once it hits steam the marks will come off but it doesn't matter it's going to be underneath anyway okay so my my heat press is heated up to 250 and i'm going to change my temperature up to a little higher i went to like 330 or 340. okay so i'm going to let that finish heating and now that i've got my circle here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim around where I drew the circle on the back of my fabric. You don't have to be exact. You're going to hot glue it all down in the back behind your hoop. After you get your image on. I was so excited when I took that Christmas tree out of the box, y'all. It's just beautiful. It's not as fat as a tree that I had last year, but it's a beautiful tree. It's very full. I can't wait to be able to show you guys what my tree looks like. Okay, I'm putting that fabric over my scrap box because I'm going to need it. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to go ahead. I want to make sure to get this as flat as I can. And my heat press is as at... 335 if you don't have a heat press just use your iron okay I'm unloading my image and I've got my image right here I'm gonna go ahead and weed this out so it'll be ready to iron on okay so I'm gonna get this weeded out and I don't, if I have some extra under here, I don't like to cut, I don't like to like pull that all off. I might be able to use that little piece for something. So I'm just going to cut kind of around it and I'm saving that. I put that in my scraps. You never know when you're going to need a scrap. Now I'm just going to use my weeding tool and I'm going to just kind of pull out the centers. 
And let me see, the best place for me to start a while ago, the other one just pulled right off. So just got to get myself a good spot to start in. can't believe Thanksgiving is next week. Okay, once I get this going, it'll come off pretty fast since I changed the pressure on my Cricut. I do have a video if you want to know how to change the pressure. If you're having pressure problems and where it doesn't cut well enough, um, I have a video showing you how you can change the pressure if you're interested. And as you see, look, this is just, it cuts so well now that I've learned how to change the pressure. I'm not having any issues getting my vinyl weeded. Just pulls right off. I'm going to get this part over here. The other one I felt so frustrated because I was wasting so much. And uh, not anymore. No more issues. And look at that. I've only got a few left to pull out here. A little bit right there. That one's being a little stubborn. Okay. This, uh, this Paper Studio brand vinyl works really, really well. I haven't tried it like on a shirt or anything like that where like you would wash it. I have not tried that, but it adheres really well. Okay, almost done. Just a little bit more. Getting this off. See, I used to sit forever and try to get this off and get these weeded and I just would have so much problems. I'd be so frustrated. It would go in the trash. I wasted way too much vinyl. Okay. I think I've only got one more. Get it out. Okay. So there you go. That's what it looks like. See, it looks great, y'all. Look at that. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it ironed on so we can finish up the process of just getting this all put together. Look at that. Okay. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to center this up the best that I can. I know it's kind of sideways here, but I gotta be able to see where I'm putting it. And I just want to just kind of. Center it up. I'm going to use my heat press. Sometimes I've got a hard time figuring out. There it goes. Okay, so I'm going to do my 30 seconds here. Make sure it's adhered really well. Whatever you do, if you're using vinyl and you're new to doing that, don't forget to mirror your image you want the iron on to go on you want it to go on um, correctly and if you don't mirror your image then I'm going to turn that off and this is nice and hot and perfectly look at that and look one little piece had stayed on and it peeled right off for me so it turned out just fine Okay, so now let's get this in the hoop and get this finished up, y'all.
Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do now that I've got my image all ready to go, and look at that, it's perfect, y'all. Looks great. Um, all I'm going to do is I need to get it in the hoop, but on this particular one, I use some washi tape and cover the edge with some silver washi. I think I have enough on this roll to do this one as well. So all I did is I took my art glitter glue because even though your washi tape has got some sticky on there, sometimes it doesn't always stay the best way you want it to. So I'm just gonna start my glue and I'm gonna start going around my hoop with my washi. Gonna get this started. And this particular one, it fit my hoop perfectly. Just kind of measure your washi up against your hoop. You want to make sure you, that it fits right on your hoop. And I kind of got lucky with this one. It just fit perfectly to go around my hoop as far as the width of it. Okay. Some more glue. Try to make sure you get the glue at least on the edges as close as you can. That way then it stays adhered down. My husband was going to bed earlier, y'all. And he told, I said, he said, I'm going to bed. I'm going to lay down. I said, okay. I said, I'm not going to bed yet. He goes, you're not? I said, no, I'm not. I'm not sleepy yet. Because I want to make some, I wanted to make this first because I want to decorate my tree tomorrow. And I wanted to make these for my tree. And so, look at that, I had enough washi. And so I decided I wanted to do a tutorial on this instead of just making it. I wanted to show you guys how I'm gonna make them. And so that's why I'm like, you know. And I just came in here, played around for a few minutes and voila, figured out what I wanted to do. So it was perfect. Okay, so make sure you got that pressed down really, really well. See that? Do any colors you want. Make it your own. Okay. And now I'm going to put my lid back on there. So now what you're going to do is you're going to put this in your hoop. And I'm just going to kind of get it in my hoop the best that I can. I'm going to have to unscrew just a little bit. Actually, it feels weird. I need to do it this way. I'm putting my little, the little thing, that twisty thing, the screw at the top. So it looks like this. Look how pretty that is. And Merry Christmas, y'all. I love Christmas, my favorite holiday. Okay, so see how that looks? That looks great. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, Lordy, I usually just buy my ornaments and this just worked out perfectly. I'm making this as tight as I can make it. Okay, so now you've got this. So what I did is I just took my glue gun and went around the bag and just folded this down. And that worked out perfectly. So I got my glue gun here. Let's just get going. Press it down just so it will lay flat. Just make your way around. Okay, 
coming. So yeah, it's a quarter to 12. I think we'll be done with this in just a few minutes. Hope that you guys sticking it out with me. Hopefully this is an idea that you can utilize on your tree or make ornaments or pictures or whatever you want to do. I love it. Sometimes I kind of forget that I can just go to the Cricut Design Space. I pay the fee for it. And, you know, you don't have to stress on trying to create it yourself. They usually got these all ready for you in the great fonts. Okay, there we go. So I got that laid down. That's pretty good. Okay, here we go. No, I just love it. Merry Christmas, y'all. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I am just going to use my my uh, hoop here. And I'm going to put this on a piece of black paper. I'm hoping I can see if I use this. And I, Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, so I'm just going to trace around it so I just have a cover for the back. I'm just going to cut it out. Not the best free-handed uh, paper cutter in a circle, so it won't be perfect. But I'm not worried. It's my ornament, and it's going. It'll go on the back anyway, so it'll be just fine. going to fit on the back. I just want to make sure that it lays down and I don't have too much overhang. It's not too bad. I'm going to trim a little bit off this part. take it and I'm going to hot glue it and glue it on and once I do that I'll be right back okay so I've got the back all glued on so now it's covered and now I'm just going to put my decoration on and we will be done so I purchased these at um, Hobby Lobby and I'm just cutting it apart using the pieces that I want so um I think I'll come over here, see which pieces I want to use. So I'm just going to cut some off. So I can drape it over the top. Exactly the same. Just try to put them close to the same. And I'm just going to drape them over to the top of my ornament that I've made. And I'm going to glue it on just like this. So I'm going to use my hot glue on this one. I had to really hold it down though a while ago when I used it. I'm going to get my glue back over here and I'm going to get my glue stick ready. That way then. I'm ready to go. Hopefully, I will not butt my tripod. I'm going to move it a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Kind of shape it because it's wired, of course. 
I'm just going to shape it and I'm going to put it at the top. You can make these a little smaller if you want, but you see this one, I kind of made it a little longer and I kind of liked it. So just make these your own, y'all. Okay, well, here we go. I'm going to glue, glue, glue. Get the glue on the top. And I'm going to put it on here and just hold it down really well. I had a rubber finger over here a while ago. But this glue gun doesn't get as hot as that other one that I burned myself on. So, okay. Okay, I think that's it here. So anyway, you can just kind of shape these out, do whatever. Pretty cute. Okay, now I'm gonna put some on the other sides, like giving it eyebrows or something. This one is a little bit longer, so I think I'm gonna cut it. Just kind of trim to the length I want. And so it goes like this. If I had one long one that fit across, that would have been good. But um, I don't have that, so I'm making do with what I got and what I found. Okay, let's get this other side going here. It scared me. I thought for a second I was burning myself. I wasn't burning myself. glue in here okay so there it goes kind of looks like a head with hair so now I'm just going to give it a bow you can put some little holly berries on it you can do whatever you like it's turning out good I'm just going to put a bow I'm just going to use the same ribbon that I used a while ago I'm just using this one I'm just going to tie myself up a bow. And glue it on. Easy, right? And so cute. Aren't they cute? Now I'll have some more bigger ornaments for my tree in the color scheme that I want with great sayings on it. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. I mean, I wanna to go to sleep now so I can get up tomorrow and decorate the tree. Do y'all get excited like that? Oh my goodness, I'm excited. I love Christmas time, I love it. It's gonna be sad without mama, but we're gonna make it happy because that's what she would want us to do. Okay. I'm trying to adjust this. Only thing I need left for the glue gun is to glue this on. Okay. Go ahead and I'm gonna fold that in half. So I have a nice peak on the edge of my ribbon. So there we go. Now I'm just going to hot glue it right up here and then we'll be done. Okay, let's get this glue gun. And I'm just going to, I think what I'm going to do, the best thing for I think to do on this is I'm just going to glue the whole back here for the whole bunch. I'm just going to put the glue. this down got a little glue on there I hope I can get that off this takes a sec Hey guys, 
I got a little glue up here on the top of my bow. And what I need to do is let it set and then worry about picking it off. Okay. I'm not gonna worry about it. Once it's once it sets well, then I can pick it off. Look how sweet that is, y'all. That is so look at that. That is so so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now the last thing you need to do is just make yourself a little hanger and I just use some of this jute twine. I think this is jute. I'm just gonna use some of this. And what I did is I made myself a loop so I'd be able to hang it on my tree like this. Okay, and then all I did is I stuck it in between these little, this thing right here, so it would be secure. So I'm going to stick it up in here. Actually, stick this up here. I'm just going to tie a knot, tie it on, and y'all, how sweet is this? There you go. Look at that. Can we get that glue off right there? I should quit worrying about it. Hi, y'all. There you go. Isn't that so, so cute? Oh my goodness. Get this out of the way. These are just darling. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited how cute they're gonna be on the tree. Add a few berries if you want. I don't think I'm gonna worry about that. I kinda just like it just like this. Look how sweet these are. So cute, oh my goodness, y'all. I'm excited. Okay, so I can't wait till tomorrow till I Get this, get these on my tree. They're gonna fit perfectly. They're gonna just add to my tree. I'm excited. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Maybe you'll want to make some of this. Maybe you'll be inspired to do this. And yeah, y'all, y'all have a good night, okay? Bye.